Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media, Nike Hot Seat special guest today. Central Christian College has announced doubly good news. That came out on Saturday. The Kansas Space School revealed that it was launching a new men's varsity wrestling program this fall, and they've already hired a great guy. And our buddy Tom Carr, he joins us now, does the assistant coach at George Mason. How are you, Tom? Hey, Scott. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. This is a this is big news for wrestling. As wrestling continues to grow at these faith based institutions, we're seeing guys like you all of a sudden not only uh, uh, great candidates but exceedingly employable. Let's talk about how Central Christian has approached wrestling and how they approached you. Um, well, it's kind of a crazy story. Um, back in February, I was. Uh, we have practice in the mornings here at Mason and we lift weights and then I usually go and get coffee as soon as uh, we get done. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning and my phone rings and it's uh, Coach Moyer, you know, president of the NWCA or you executive bet. director. And um, he asked me if I'm interested in it. And before I knew it, you know, he didn't even give me really a chance to say yes or no. He just conferenced in the athletic director from central and you know next thing i know i'm having a phone interview with coach moyer and steve reed who is the athletic director there uh, steve reed has a vision for this institution has a vision for the athletics program at central christian and the fact that it includes wrestling says an awful lot about what he feels and how he feels about wrestling doesn't it it does and you know a lot of uh our early conversations were about uh, you know, what would the team be like? What kind of people are involved in wrestling? He was a track guy. Uh, when he was growing up, his son played lacrosse. So he had not had a lot of experience with wrestling, and he uh, actually was living in Singapore before he came back to become the athletic director. So uh, his vision is to build a pretty competitive team, you know, that competes on the mats and in the classroom and um, wrestles hard and is a credit to the school and what it's about. Twigs Reed described you as an outstanding leader, a very good coach, an exceptional recruiter, and I'm going to get back to that, and the ideal person to lead the inaugural men's wrestling program. So let's get back to exceptional recruiter. For the last dozen or so years, you have been working under various head coaches and various programs from Central Community College in Pella, Iowa, to George Mason and stops in between as well. Let's mm -hmm. talk about recruiting because that's a learned art, isn't it? It is to a point. You know, um, people give me credit for being good at it. But really, for me, I'm, uh, you know, I majored, one of my majors in college was psychology, so I'm pretty interested in people. And I think that helps me a lot because I like to kind of try to figure out what makes people tick. And that will help you get to know somebody, build a relationship with them. And it's two ways. Recruiting is always a two-way process. Does the athlete uh, fit what the team needs and does the team fit what the athlete needs? And if you can match both, then you're, you're in the right place. So um, – I don't know. And then the other thing I try to do with recruiting is I just try to hustle at it. I try to be visible and um, make sure I complete my call list every week, which is, you know, uh, a huge part of it is just getting to know guys and letting them get to know you. Tom Carr is in our Nike hot seat this week. He'll become the new head coach for Central Christian in Kansas. Kansas is setting uh, a, a tremendous pace for the balance of the country of uh, programs added to athletic departments at various schools, and we, we uh, certainly applaud that. But they've hired a great guy. Coach Carr will be their new head coach of the brand-new program with so many years. We go back to Land Lakes High School in Florida where you <laughs> began your coaching career. Um, you know, it's a, it's a completely different attitude in Florida than, say, it is in, in Pella, Iowa, or or in Virginia, talk to us about, you know, the various uh, places you've been, and it has been a wide variety, and that's to your credit. I think you've always been one to expand and wanting to learn, but talk to us about the, the degree of difference, if you will, between the high school and, and Florida attitude on wrestling to, say, Iowa or Virginia. Um, I mean, that's a interesting question. When I uh, 
was the high school head coach. I really was not uh, – when I moved back to Florida after I graduated college, I didn't think about going into coaching. I just um, went to the local high school, wanted to volunteer and help out. And then two weeks before the season started, the head coach called me and told me he was moving to Texas, and I was the guy. So um, tried to make the most of it. We had some success, but uh, I knew – kind of it wasn't where I wanted to be or what I wanted to do. So, I, you know, it, it helped me decide I wanted to get into coaching, but I knew I wanted to be farther north, um, you know, and then I got my first coaching job at Central College in Iowa and was there for a year. And, um, you know, after that I left and went to Michigan State and was the administrative assistant for Coach Minkle for two years before I – I uh, went to Bucknell and was Coach Warnsberger's assistant for two years and then I've been here for the past four. Um, there is a different attitude. I don't know that, you know, the attitude in Pennsylvania is that they are, you know, they try to lead the, the charge and they've got a great tradition in wrestling. And uh, on the same note, you know, uh, Iowa, when I was out there, they love wrestling too. I don't really know how you compare them they're all kind of different um it is interesting in iowa to go to the state tournament and see you know i'm pretty sure the entire population of the city of bell plain goes to des moines every year for the state tournament <laughs> you know, but they just close it down and it's interesting that fridays the friday of the tournament is state tournament day and they don't have school in most of the state so um you know it's a big deal there it's pretty cool Virginia is awesome, you know, like I would say that, you know, Iowa, Pennsylvania, Virginia, you know, they've all got great, well organized state associations. Here we're blessed to have Bill Swink. I know out in in uh, Kansas they've got another great uh well organized state association. So I'm looking forward to getting to know those guys and working with them, both their coaches association and USA wrestling and um, you know, helping them as much as I can and trying to, you know, sway their support to Central as well. This won't be the first program you started from scratch. As a matter of fact, you were hired as an assistant at Minot State, uh, a D2 school in Minot, North Dakota, um, yep. helping to start that program from scratch. So what you learned there uh, gives you some tremendous value. And then what you learned under, uh, you know, these, these tremendous head coaches as well because uh, – I think Joe Russell will will be in the record books as one of the best uh, head coaches or assistant coaches when it comes to recruiting. I mean, yep. you look at his time at Minnesota, you look at what he's been able to do in the short period of time he's done it at George Mason. He is a teacher, uh, coach, uh, and recruiter all wrapped up into one. And, man, it's hard to see any kind of uh, dividing line. Yeah, you know, Joe's a great guy. If you uh... – you know, it's uh, you know he's a great guy. It's hard to kind of explain Joe Russell quickly, um, but the thing is with Joe Russell is he's a great leader and example. And if the guys follow what he does and and says what he you know and does what he says and preaches to the team, they'll have success. You know, wrestling is uh, people know Joe's a great technician. Joe's a good person. Um, but then he's also a great example of, of how to you know be successful, and I, I believe in that in a huge amount. And also be successful in life, right? I mean, Joe Russell is a walking, talking, living, breathing miracle, and he doesn't yeah. take uh, – I don't think I've ever seen him take a day for granted. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, I would say that's fair to say, you know, I uh, – yeah, I don't think that there's ever been a day that Joe has woken up and not made something of it, whether it's just having fun with his kids or, um, you know, coaching, doing all kinds of stuff. I don't think he's ever – I don't think there's ever been a day he's just sat on his couch and watched TV. You know, we have mentors in life, and whether they know it or not, they're teaching us. Uh, they're offering their friendship, uh, their guidance. Uh, I'm going to list off uh, a group of guys, Eric Reed, Roger Chandler, Tommy Minkle, 
Danny Wernsberger, Robin Ersland, Joe Russell, Kevin McNamee. I mean, these these guys um, have all been uh, there for you in various stages of your career, and i got to believe they've all helped you to become the coach that you have become. Oh, yeah, they've all been a huge blessing in my life, and it's always kind of interesting how, uh, you know, when you have a mentor, you know, a lot of them, you know, they were my bosses too, but it, it really they're my mentors and they've stayed mentors because they've stayed involved in my career and in my life and they've helped me um, progress towards my goals. They've helped me as a person with things that don't even relate to wrestling. And, uh, you know, it's a blessing to have them all in my life and I'm, I owe them a great deal, you know. Hmm. Well, you've always been one that's, uh, and by the way, sitting across from you uh, during a dinner or lunches that we've had over the years, I've never noticed you analyzing me. Uh, you had a psychology <laughs> background. So it's part of a, the trick, Scott. You know, if you, don't, if you know what's going on, you're not going to let it happen. <laughs> but, but my point is, it's either A, you're not interested, or B, you're very, very good at what you're doing, or I'm not worth the uh, trouble. So there's, <laughs> there's, there's like three choices there, or maybe a mixture of all three. But uh, however it is, I'm just so grateful that that uh, you get the opportunity to not only start this Tiger program, but to build a team that uh, will compete hard, that will perform well in the classroom, mm -hmm. and will be a, a great credit to uh, uh, you know the tradition that it continues to grow in Kansas, and in particular McPherson. Are you excited? I am. You know they've got outstanding programs, outstanding. Freestyle and Greco, outstanding high school programs in the state. Uh, it's in a great location. You know, we're kind of central there. We can, uh, you know, Oklahoma, Missouri, Texas are all right there uh, within a couple hour drive. So that's going to be neat to be part of. Uh, I'm excited to build my own program from scratch. You know, um, last couple of days, all kinds of people have reached out to me and congratulated me and told me I'm the boss now. And <laughs> kind of just been laughing to myself because, you know, I have. No Matt, I have no team, I have no assistant, so I'm just the boss of me, which is kind of nice, but then I have to crack the whip and make myself do some work, so uh, we'll get it going. We're going to, you know, try to build a team of character and, you know, we won't take shortcuts. That's one of my things I want to make sure we don't do. We'll look forward to helping you tell the story, Tom. We want to offer our congratulations as well. The NEIA is lucky indeed to have you join the ranks of uh, uh, what is already a very impressive roster of collegiate sports offered by Central. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing uh, what you're able to produce in the coming years. So congratulations to you. Uh, our thanks to our friends at Central Christian College. Uh, Four-year college, uh, private indeed, but man, I tell you what, they are just leading by example. Tom, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Scott. I really appreciate your time. For all of us at Takedown, and, and by the way, the Nike hot seat, not uncomfortably warm, was it? No, no, not too bad. I thought you were going to grill me a little bit more. <laughs> That's not necessarily what the Nike hot seat means. <laughs> oh, okay. We, too, have to cut back just a little bit, conserve on energy, so maybe we should call it the Nike warm seat. But either way <laughs> you look at it, TC, thanks so much, bud. Congratulations on the new job, and we're looking forward to seeing you take over and uh, make your impressions in the fall. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it.